Hey, welcome to the Board Game Closet. My name's Jimmy. Today I get to show you Calico, which is retail version. There's no Kickstarter you gotta back. There's no 18 months you gotta wait. If you want this game, you can go out and get it right now. I am going to give you an overview of the game. I'm gonna tell you my buy it, play it, hate it rating on this. So green means go buy Calico, add it to your collection. White means maybe you wouldn't buy it, but you'd always play it. And then red means don't buy it and don't play it because you hate it. I'm gonna give you an overview of the game, let you know what I think about it, and ultimately give you my buy it, play it, hate it rating at the end. And uh, if this video is helpful to you, then uh, put something down in the comments. Let us know if you decided to back this game or pass on this game. And if this video is helpful, then consider supporting us on Patreon. Uh, the link is in the description below. We're so thankful for the support that we have so far. Calico is a quilt making game. You are going to be drafting quilt tiles that go down onto your board and scoring points in three different ways. There are cats that you could attract that love certain kinds of patterns. There are buttons that you will collect if you string together uh, the same colored tiles. And then there are these very puzzly, thinky tile scoring tokens that you will put down onto your board. There are six of these, and you could randomly choose them, you could purposefully choose them, or you could go by the suggested setup in the rule book, however you want. And these are going to determine how you score points on your quilt. This game is deceptively thinky. You see the cats, you see the beautiful artwork. It's very simple to just draft a tile and place it down. And so you will think, I got this, it's not gonna be that hard. And about halfway through the game, you're gonna say, ouch. <laughs> I, I didn't realize how thinky this game is. Why is it tough? It's tough because you're trying to balance those three different ways to score points. In your head, you're saying, oh, I just need three of these blue tiles and then I'll get a blue button. Or Millie over here, cat, Millie the cat, wants uh, three polka dot tiles all together. That's pretty simple. But then you look down onto your board and you say, well, to score seven or ten points around this tile, I have to surround it with all different colors or all different patterns. Patterns. And I'll score 15 points if I make that all different colors and all different patterns. And uh, But this one up here says I need three, three pairs. And then this one over here, two sets of three. And now when you're laying down this blue tile, you're having to figure out, okay, that's the one that's going to go in the set of three. And then that's the one in the three pairs. And then if I put a purple one over here, that's the only purple that I can have touching that one if I want to score the 10 points. And so it starts to build up on you. And um, I guess maybe my first thing for people that might not like the game is maybe if you are not into puzzly, thinky games, then this might not be it for you. Now, if you like games like Azul, where you just draft the tile, put it down there, it's not that complicated, then this is definitely a step up from that. But if you played Azul and you said, man, Azul was kind of a little too simple for me. I wish that there was a little bit more to it or a little bit more that I had to think through and think ahead, then this is that game for you because it is another step up from there. And um, I have found myself playing this game sometimes where I think that it's a breeze. I'm getting all the tiles that I want. And then there are other times that I've played it where I am biting. I don't bite my fingernails, but I'm waiting to the end, you know, tearing up my fingernails, waiting until the end to say, okay, I need exactly this one tile and look, it came out. I'm so excited. And then I place it down and I score all the points and I'm so happy. This game is a lot of fun because of those reasons. My simple buy it, play it, hating writing on this game is a green. This is a buy it game for me. I love this game. Simple to play solo. In a in a multiplayer game, you're just choosing tiles and refreshing them. The only thing that really changes in a solo game is that you're choosing tiles and then one to the left gets eliminated. So you can play this game solo or multiplayer and it's really not that different. There are scenarios that you could play in uh, with the solo version, which I think is pretty cool. You could go all through these different ways uh, to score points. I like that. Uh, the cats that come in the game are two-sided and there are six of them so there are multiple ways for you to score points. And then these center tiles there are six of them. So you could uh, play this game multiple, multiple, multiple times and still not reach the limit on what all comes in this box. I really like this game. I've been sitting here trying to think of reasons people wouldn't like the game. 
Uh, maybe the theme might not be it for you. I love the theme. I love the idea that if I get three of these tiles together, that little Millie comes and lays down on my quilt. I just think it's so much fun. I like that aspect of the game. Um, I like how easy it is to teach people this game. But I will say that some folks that I've played this game with have gotten tripped up when it comes to scoring on the board. So it is just, like I said, it's a step up from Azul. It's not as clear, straightforward as that game. So there is a little bit more for people to grasp. But my uh, suggestion is just start playing the game with them. And about halfway through, it'll click, they'll get it, and you're on your way. And then I guarantee... Well, I, I don't know if I can say I guarantee, but I'm pretty sure once it's over, they'll say, I like this game, let's play again. And I, for that reason, this is a green game for me. This has to be on my shelf. I'm not going to get rid of this game. And it's so good, in fact, that when I finish this recording and push that button up there to stop, I think I'm going to play a solo game of this because I love it so much. So that's Calico. Uh, put any questions that you have in the comments. If you have bought this game and love it, let me know. If you hate this game, let me know. If you go and get this game because of this review, then please let me know. This is such a fun game, and I would love for you to be able to check it out. It's called Calico. My name's Jimmy, and we'll see you next time.